Studying exploding stars is hard. The sky is big and they're easy to miss. So astronomers have a system and it's triggered by the brief burst of gamma rays an exploding star produces. And earlier this year, it all worked perfectly. On the afternoon of the 3rd of June, uh, the SWIFT satellite uh, detected a burst of gamma rays that lasted about 0.1 seconds. Uh, and it slewed around quickly and gave us a very accurate position on the sky, which we then chased up uh, as fast as we could from, the, from major telescopes on the ground. Following up on SWIFT's lead, astronomers trained nearly every telescope on that part of the sky. Even the Hubble Space Telescope watched the dying afterglow of this huge explosion. And that's when the astronomers noticed something strange. This, faint and tiny as it looks, is actually brighter than we expected. The astronomers at Warwick now say all this data points to this explosion being a kilonova. Two tiny, dense neutron stars locked in a death spiral and then collapsing into each other and exploding. And the evidence also shows, they say, that this violent event produces gold. It's always been predicted that these sort of events will produce a high quantity of gold. But, um, but in particular, you know, this is really going to be the majority factor. So we're talking like 90% of the gold in the universe is going to have been produced from these sort of neutron star binary mergers. So all that gold right up there in space, along with other less glamorous heavy elements, ends up here on Earth because it's trapped in the Earth's crust when the planet was formed. Or it can arrive here at a later date, inside gold-filled meteorites that bombard the surface of the planet. But for astronomers, the production of space gold is just a small part of the excitement of observing an extraordinary cosmic event like this. Devi Gregory Kumar, BBC Minns Today, University of Warwick.